right now. Bram, he was probably disappointed with his marathon yesterday because he, he was a little sort of I'm, I'm reckless is maybe not quite the right word but he he over attacked a bit yeah. he just he just went for it and and you wouldn't expect anything less from him he gives 110 percent if it's possible every single time just like his dad loves to win puts everything in it and he admitted himself he's got two um, newer horses in there perhaps just asked a little bit much of them a few expensive knockdowns but in terms of the team he certainly did enough to keep himself in the mix for this gold medal right well what he needs to do just to set the tone for his his two compatriots is a good round here just to keep the pressure on the Germans who are certainly with that first round from Gord von Stein are just going to feel the heat a bit as they try and go in quest of a team gold a fourth team gold it would be for the Germans but well, he's currently European champion yeah. and he's World Cup indoor champion he knows all about what it's like to stand on that tallest block in the podium he's he's been bred to this he loves this he's a somebody that takes his own fitness very seriously he takes a whole look at everything keeps himself fit and of course the wisdom of his father helping on the training side bram himself does a lot of training so successful with pony teams he's been on the dutch team for many years so despite his um, young years in comparison to us, really well, but this he's is doing, quick. He's, he brings so much to it. So this is quick. Well, that's what you'd expect from him. But speed and accuracy. I yeah, just have me look down. Don't don't get Irene's caught. Whatever you do, it's a nightmare when that happens. And his feet will be working hard on those pedals as well because they just. We've seen quite a lot of them using the brake just as a bit of a half halt to regather. But goodness, look at that concentration. It is. Gosh, we're at 14 already. Wow. Yes, that's what I mean. This is quick. He was way, I was 90 at 11. He was something like 12 seconds inside that. Goodness, for muscle memory, we talk about what they yeah. have to do, but for us as well, I couldn't believe he was through 14 already. This yes, is this, this, great. This, this is the point. This is sensational, and he's clear. Come on, Bram. Oh, my goodness, if anyone can pull it off, but let's not put uh, the car wash on him. Because 16, we've been talking about 150, uh, but look where he is. Gosh, this is a big margin. And this, there we go. Look at that, 140. That's the marker now. We've oh got to put that at 140. That's 10 seconds quicker than anybody else. Now, oh, come on, come on, Bram. That's it, 17. Yeah, but you see that this is slow. This is a slow section of the course. You've, you've got to, if you want to be in the mix, gain time oh. where you can earlier on. He's going to be clear. inside the time if he can. Come on, Bram. Oh gosh, if anyone can do it. This is extraordinary. Well done. Look at these big horses covering the ground. He's got this advantage of these wonderful oh. athletic horses. 19. Oh, the, I mean, he should, be in, he should be inside the time here. Now he's just got to keep his concentration. 194 is the optimum time. Oh. He looks like he's going to be well in it. Coming to the final part. Mike. Have we done it? We've in, got. Oh, he's going to be so close. He, oh, he's yes. inside it. First yes. double clear. Yes. Wow. Yes, and no yes, doubt. Yes, well what, done. What Bram Chardon thinks of that. Happy days. The first double clear. And he's letting it all hang out now. And well done. He made that look so easy. Jaw droppingly brilliant from the European champion Bram Chardon. Stunning. Well, wow. we've got a competition, haven't we? We knew we were going to, but that was brilliant. So we've. Just, but that we've also seen. means not any for um, team, because that clearly now gives the others the, the freedom in a way. But what it also does now, because if we're looking at the medals competition, he is um, 15 points behind. Boyd, but what it now means, he's suddenly, as I said at the start, he was 8.45 behind. Oh, look at that face, yes! That is a typical Chardon reaction.